Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. Tonight, we've got a good NFC matchup in store. Here's the punter, Jake Camarda, set to do the honors, and off we go now from Tampa. Very short kick taken right at the 20. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Darnold going to throw right away. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. He's got a man complete. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Quite a show of arm strength right there. That was in the air for a long time, and it was on target, too. More the man in motion. A first carry for the Canadian-born Chuba Hubbard. They'll get this down to the 21, just on the edge of the red zone. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Back to throw, Darnold. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Ten. A give, running right, it's Hubbard. And he will take it across the end line. their own 25-yard line. They'll start out on the ground. It's Leonard Fournette. That's to about the 28. Second down coming up. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. To throw is Brady. A pass underneath for Fournette. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Ten yards there and a Buccaneer first down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after the game. I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or this is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Makes the give to Fournette. Now Brady. And that's complete. It's Chris Godwin. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Into the red zone. It's Brady. And he wisely will throw that one away. Excellent recognition that none of his receivers were beating coverage and getting open, so he just threw that one away. They'll come back to the huddle, reset, and try something different. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Again, he'll drop the throw. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Spence was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Brady going to throw. To the end zone, but it's in. Let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. Brady to throw for it on fourth down. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Justin Lane. And the Panthers are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on fourth down. Well, I appreciate the aggressiveness trying to go for it there on fourth down, but you're in the red zone, have three points in your back pocket. Instead, Charles, they throw it away. Certainly a big call to go for it on fourth down, as you said, in the red zone. Definitely going to call Second and eight coming up. Hit, hit. 
And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. 11 in the football. Remember, he already has the touchdown run. And you can feel the vibe, can't you? He's in unison with his offensive front. They are in concert together. So if you're flipping over to the other side of the line of scrimmage. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, Carroll. The turnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. It's possession. Now Charles, it's kind of gut check time. Look, I know it's early first quarter, just their second drive of the game, but they've already thrown the interception, given up the score. You're down. You do, Bev, if multiple guys step up and make big plays right now, they need something positive to happen, and they need for it to happen now. Hey, 66. Throwing on first down is Brady. That is caught. It's Chris Godwin. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Jeremy Chin picks it off. And the Panthers are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the confidence fitting the ball into any window. But obviously that window was a little too tight and it was closing in a hurry. And he was talking to us about having anticipation and making those types of throws. Down near the goal line, I don't think you can anticipate it as much as you need to see it open. You've got to be precise with your throws down here in the red zone. That one goes into double coverage and he gets picked off. No coverage bust by the defense. Hubbard. They find some open field here. And he'll take this all the way down to the 15-yard line. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. And they'll go again here with Hubbard. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. On second and seven, Darnold eluding the pressure right. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Carlton Davis picks it, and the Bucs are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line zone, but it'll stay out of reach because of their error. All their offensive teammates have to give them the quarterback right now. Offer a little bit of encouragement because what's done is done. Let's get them next time out. That throw by Brady incomplete. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. to throw it's Brady and he's taken down back at his own seven multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game well you're already up a couple of scores here in the first half defensively and Charles they just seem to be playing really free on that side of the football I love the observation because with that type of a lead they feel like they can take a few more chances and be even more aggressive and it's been paying off for them so far this game Finding space at the 40. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. and 10. Here's Brady. Flushed out right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Well, this is a half for not just the coverage, but the entire defense. On first down leads to a second and 10. Hey, 
Running out of the gun with White. And this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they are dominating. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the... And Whitey going to be intercepted a third time. And the Panthers are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. A nightmare of a first half for him. That's now three interceptions. But Charles, with his talent, if anyone can shake this off and right the ship, it's him. I agree because you don't get to be one of the best quarterbacks in the league without developing some major mental toughness. So I expect him to go to the locker room at halftime, hit the reset button, and come out a new guy in half number two. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. He's going to look deep for more. He's got it. Hit the 15. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. That was excellent. Sold the curl, showed his numbers back to the quarterback. The defender bit, and he was gone. And the ball was thrown just at the right time as well. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. 106 yards on the ground for Hubbard as that last run of first down. This guy's well on his way now to a big game. Goal and gosh, points here. A chance maybe to put this thing away before halftime. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. In motion right is a running back. Darnold a sneak, and I don't think he got in. The big bodies up front held him at the one. This Tampa Bay defense, they held strong in the first two plays. Now third and goal. After the run, now Darnold to throw. He's got it for a Panther touchdown successfully. to get their drive started. And I don't think they need to be reminded of the situation here. I mean, the clock is dwindling. Three-score deficit waiting for them at halftime unless they can get something on the board here before intermission. There, and it's second down. Now Brady. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Jeremy Chin picks it off. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick. 